State lawmakers are pushing for more people in North Carolina to have a degree or certificate to better prepare for the workforce. A bill introduced in the General Assembly would start that preparation in middle school. That on your side's Caitlin Richards is joining us now in studio. And Caitlin, you spoke with a local school counselor about this bill and what kind of an impact would this have on our students? Angie, this would all happen before a student were to step place in a high school. It would require a career development plan to be in place by the end of seventh grade to be promoted to the next grade level. Then in high school, that plan would be revised at the end of 10th grade. The proposal is Senate Bill 193. While it isn't in place yet, Chicago School Guidance Counselor Kristen Jeffrey says Pitt County Schools already promotes exploring career interests through their major clarity program, asking questions inside and outside of classrooms. I've always shared with um, parents and um, other people um, over the years that middle school electives are meant to be exploratory. Just really getting them to know what's out there. Even when we do high school registration and we talk about electives, we tell the kids, try something. The state's career development plan would include a self-assessment of the student's career interests, academic courses that align with those interests, as well as a career portfolio telling them, you know, they've got to come up with something or put something on paper, I think um, could, you know, just maybe, you know, I hate to use the word anxiety, but it, it does give them maybe a little bit of pressure to, oh my gosh, I have to think about what I want to do right now. North Carolina Superintendent Catherine Truitt is a supporter of the bill, saying students would be prepared for success in the workforce. The goal of the career development plan would be to broaden ideas, which is something Jeffries already continues to encourage. Take a chance, you know, look at something, try it. If you don't like it, then try something new. Um, so I, we tell the kids that all the time, and that's what I would continue to tell them to do. The bill did pass unanimously in the Senate, but still needs to be passed in the House before going to the governor's desk. No word on when a vote could take place. In studio, Kaylin Richards, 9 on your side.